Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another live stream. I'm here with my good friend over here, Doc Rock. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I'm, I'm here with my good friend over here. <laughs> <laughs> over here? Somewhere? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's get my, my chat set up here. Comments. Yeah, how's it going, Doc? You've been, uh, you've been busy today? Productive? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, we had this crazy rainstorm last night. And actually, mm. it's been going on for a couple of days, but it got really nuts yesterday. Yeah. Aerial flooding kind. So I've been fighting water all day. It's quite impressive. <laughs> but my, luckily, my studio is safe. Uh, but last night, bro, I was like ankle deep in water outside trying to get all the water to make sure it doesn't come in the basement. Oh, so, man. Yeah, sheesh, man. I uh, No, not the same reason. But I remember uh, one of our other friends, Dean Reynolds, man. Um, he got flooded too. But I think that's like that's something with his, uh, with his place. <laughs> so, uh, But yeah, man, hopefully you guys are okay there. I mean, we've had some uh, crazy floods over here uh, in uh, Vancouver yeah. side. Um, not where I live, but like, you know, a couple, about an hour away, man. It's been crazy. I mean, you know, weather is crazy this time of year. Yeah, you know, they say somebody said it was the most wonderful time. I was like, you guys are nuts. It's rainy season. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I know. It's crazy. I don't know what, you know, but I do see like um, in our in our U screen Slack, there's some like team members in New Zealand and stuff, and they're like sharing pictures. Like they're on the beach, sunny. It's perfect. But yeah, man, not here. Not here. It's snowing. Um, awesome. Well, uh, let's say what's up to people here. Uh, hey, everyone. Sir Michael G. Good morning from the Philippines, from the motherland. Yes. Good Good to see you here, Sir Michael G. Got Linda Ray here. Where are you located? Let everyone know where you're at. I'm in Honolulu. 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 <laughs> That's how you do. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I won't complain about the weather too much. It's just that. The last couple of days has been nuts. <laughs> it's been crazy. I bet. I bet. I bet. I've seen the pictures. I've seen your stories. Um, Clayton is here. Canuck Clay. Good to see you, man. Uh, he's wearing a Canucks jersey. For those of you that don't know, that is that is our hometown uh, team here. The hockey team. The hockey team. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Clayton? Good to see you here. Uh, our friend Sammy is in the house. Awesome. Chantel is here as well. Of course, we've got Doc. Aloha, fam. Um, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, today, we're going to be talking about live streaming. So um, if you guys are here, uh, say hello. Let us know you're in the chat. Say what's up. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, you know, I wanted to share... Um, some of the things that you can do to get more live stream viewers. Now, Doc, this comes up in conversation with a lot of content creator friends in our different circles. So I thought I'd bring you on, man. You know the you know this world like better than anybody. So um, I have some things that I do and like I do when I'm working, you know, um, for uh, different brands and things to get more live stream viewers. But uh, love to share that. But of course, I know you have a ton as well. So. Um, Let's just jump right into it. What do you say? Good, good. I mean, and and actually, you've been doing a really good job on the promotional side. Hmm. Thanks, man. I think I think a lot of people don't realize that's important. I think a lot of people just press go and expect people are going to find you. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, right? I mean, I used to. I used to just be like, oh, let's just show up and uh, let's let the replay. You know, I almost like I used to not care so much about live stream viewers, which is like, mm. you know, you sh still shouldn't. I mean, you shouldn't put too much pressure. In but like I used to be like, well, I'm just going to record this in a format that's good for the replay. And that's where because that's where the majority of the views come from. And so I didn't really care too much about promotion and getting it out and like notifications and email lists and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. What do you where do you sit on that? So, OK, so the Rihanna strategy doesn't work. Okay, let's, 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 let's get that straight. The Rihanna strategy is in, is not helpful unless you are working with something that is super SEO friendly mm -hmm. or you're buying ads against it or things like that, right? Mm -hmm. And people are like, why you call it the Rihanna framework? Uh, Ponder replay. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think it is, it is two things. I think it's important in the beginning. I think where everybody is really is i'm i'm into getting to the bottom of the things that everyone says i'm mm -hmm. like the uh, investigative reporter right i'm like i know what you say is going on but what's really going on it's right. like kevin hart goes really <laughs> <laughs> i think what happens with people is like everyone told them that this stuff is easy so they want to go 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm turning on, but I'm still a little bit nervous. Or word that I hate the most, I'm a little bit camera shy. I can't stand that word. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 
Come on. Uh, things like that. And then so what they do is they self-sabotage mm. because maybe they don't feel comfortable in streaming yet. Mm. Right? And then so you're not really doing all the things that you should be doing to get the viewers there. And then when they don't come, you be like, well, I did a live stream and only five people came, so it doesn't really work. And I'm like, yeah. but did you really try or were you just playing? Right. That's right. So That's I think right. you have to get, you have to know, you got to give yourself a high five in the mirror. You got to wake up in the morning and say, I am a creator. I'm about to do this live stream and I'm going to get 10 uh, viewers today. But the next time I pop, I'm going to get 12. And the next time right. I pop, I'm going to get 20. And then right. you start doing things on purpose. Right. And that's key for me, right? I'm an intent and purpose guy. Mm -hmm. When you start doing things on purpose, then you start doing it. And so that's what I mean. Like for you, like you said, the minute you decided that I want to do more than just, you know, the Rihanna framework, you started to post here, put a little thing up, send your email to your people out, do, hit the post on your buy me a coffee. You're doing things intentionally to make sure folks know where you're about to be. Yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, exactly. You have to be intentional. You're going to spend time to do this anyway. You want to make sure at least you get the outcome that you want or like improve on, you know, since the last time. So um, I think the first thing that everybody should be doing and feel free to disagree on any of these, uh, you know, guys. Uh, also for you, Doc. Uh, you know, correct me well, if I'm wrong. But disagree with me all the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think the first thing that you need to do is schedule your stream, right? If you're going to go stream, you got to schedule it. I, I, I see you do this all the time. Like, there's always reminders, especially I, I used, on YouTube, right? I used to never schedule streams. Yeah. I thought I was cool. And Stephanie was like, I am going to slap. <laughs> to slap you. And I'm like, what? She's like, dude, stop it with the drive by streams. No one's going to know how to find you. Yeah. Like, make it a point to be where you're going to be when you're going to be there. Yeah. And for the most part, two things happened, which was just dope to me. Hmm. People started showing up and growing, right? A lot quicker because everybody knew what time to be there. And then somebody can say to somebody else, right? So, Keely, you know, she's in Canada. Oh, Canada. What's up, hey, Canada. Canadian Muslim lady. <laughs> she, she, can, she can go to uh, Canuck Clay and be like, yo, my dude is on, like, you know, every time at whatever this time Canadian and, you know, well, you guys have time zones like us too. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, <laughs> like, Canadian time you should zone. Come, you, you should come to the stream because, like, you know, he's going to be talking about this, this, and this. And I know that's something that you're into. Mm -hmm. And so people will bring other people to your streams if you can kind of help them do something. Right. 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 And before, because I was just going whenever I had a whim, I'm like, oh, today I got a little bit of whiskey left. Might as well go live. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just don't know. So you're right. You got to be there. With The drive-by streams are just lame. Don't do it. Please don't. Yeah. Please yeah. pick a time. Schedule your stream. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think that's important. And you can do that all on Ecamm. You know, if you guys are not using Ecamm yet, I mean, I'm using Ecamm right now. So, um, you know, not not to as fancy as you can. This is like probably the most basic use of Ecamm. You know, comments, split screen, but you can do a whole bunch. But, um, you know, if you guys have any questions about that, uh, Doc is the person. You can schedule all your streams through Ecamm directly. And then that way you get a link that you can then share. You can create a Facebook event, LinkedIn event, all that stuff, drive it back to your YouTube live. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about scheduling or sorry, promotion, but that's the first thing that I would do. Um, the second thing is the live stream trailer on YouTube. I only started doing I, I that. Haven't, I haven't done it yet, but Caleb does it for my Ecan stream. Oh, nice. And everybody's like, yo, cool trailer and i'm like what trailer megan trailer <laughs> <laughs> so I, I i gotta get into that yeah yeah so okay i'm gonna show you real quick so anybody that is not using this up for youtube you, sh you should like use it right away <laughs> uh so uh so let me show you what it looks like and then we'll work backwards where you can actually upload this but um here is a scheduled live stream that i have happening on december 9th thursday thursday morning right um, and so I'm already sharing this. There's already like f Facebook events. Now, this is a quick, it's actually longer than I wanted, but it's about a 57 second video that plays when somebody lands on the scheduled stream. And so you can't hear it. Basically, it's like, hey, welcoming people, giving a little call to action to make sure you like it and set the reminder, right? The reminder is this little reminder button right here. And that's what will allow YouTube to send a notification to that person to remind them that we're now live, okay? That and also, it's just true. nice, like, engagement. You can tell people, like, hey, you know, make sure you share this out, tweet this out, would appreciate it. 
you guys can go check that out. So I'll put a link so you guys can listen to this. But and, um, and Rob yeah. is never never without that cup of Nespresso <laughs> in his hand. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Going back to what you were talking about, like you know, oh, I'm camera shy. Having like, I don't need to hold that coffee, like in all honesty, right? But um, it gives your hand, it gives my hand something to do. So it's not awkward and floating. <laughs> That's really well, it. And in, in a way, okay, so check this out. A lot of us, and I mean a lot of us, okay, straight up. Where's my Arabica people represent? Most of us are <laughs> coffee people. And there's a couple of the tea people, and I'm actually both, right? I'm both tea and coffee. Mm. Uh, some people like they fight me because of that. Cause like, well, how could you be a Tisse? And I thought you was a Rebecca. And I'm like, I like Tisse. What's up? Let's do this. <laughs> so when you I automatically could be just you know rolling through the YouTube and I would see your thumbnail and I'm like, yo, this dude holds a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go check and see what he's doing because <laughs> he's another one of us that are like, um, oh, coffee. All right, cool. So I think I am I am attracted to other coffee people. There you go. Uh, because I'm a coffee people, right? It's just a thing. So yeah. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you, Chantel. Yes. Just like me. Like I'm gonna do either hot water or water. I'll drink plain hot water if I feel like it. That's right. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> that right. I'm not that old yet. Stop That's it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right. So the next question you guys are gonna ask about these channel trailer or uh, uh, live stream trailers uh, is where to actually put them up. So this is, um, you got to schedule them first. So schedule them on Ecamm or whatever you're using. Um, and then go into your, uh, your um, dashboard and then content and then go to live and then you'll find your scheduled live streams here. Click on details real quick and then click on customization right here on the left. And then down below, you guys will see trailer. Now you can easily miss it. It's really easy to miss but that trailer right there. Now that video, this trailer video is actually an unlisted video on your channel. So it has to, actually it doesn't have to be unlisted, but it has to be a video on your channel. You can't like upload directly to the trailer. You just have to upload an unlisted trailer uh, video and then you can choose it. So um, I can choose any video that I want, um, but I use this one, which is specifically the trailer. I'm lazy, so I just have a generic trailer that I uploaded so I can use this all the time. So I like that though. Yeah, so that's that's how you do it. This is another example. Let me see here. So uh, my boy here, Daniel Kosmala, he's the man behind the scenes on. Uh, actually, he's not behind the scenes. He's front facing of the <laughs> Uscreen YouTube channel. So he's the man behind it. Um, and here's a trailer. Now his trailer is very specific to this particular live stream. So he made a specific trailer, exactly what we're going to be talking about, and kind of getting the conversation started already and promoting the live stream. So, um, so that is another way to do it as well. All right. So I got to check out that stream because I've been binge watching his stuff because I've been looking into uh, the use. I mean, you know, yes. you work this. So I got to check you out. And yes. <laughs> he is good. Like he is really good. He's a good explainer. And he is. I like this idea of the I like this idea of the trailer and twofold because you just said something that I didn't think about until you were explaining it. So thank you, brother. Um, make the one generic one that you can just use whenever. But then if you got something really dope coming up, just yeah. add one for that. Right. Like I'm going to do this thing. One thing that creators all run into. Right. Creators are like, I know nothing about the legal side of creators. Mm -hmm. right and so i could have the generic hey you know i'm doc I, I teach you know youtubers how to do all kind of things this that and the next you know this that and the third as you know grandma used to say <laughs> and then i you know two weeks from now i'm gonna have Gigi on and Gigi's gonna be talking to you about creators and legality things like setting up your business straight protecting yourself getting contracts for you know videos and stuff like that i'm gonna make that trailer different because right a lot of people need to hear what Gigi got to say right 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 and then and I'm 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 foreshadowing because I didn't actually book that call, but since you're in the chat, I'm just <laughs> kind of putting her on the spot because then they gonna be like, "Oh, Doc, gonna do a thing with Gigi about legal for creators." <laughs> yeah, we are. As soon as she comment in the comment and say, "Okay," I got you, <laughs> exactly. See right exactly. there, boom, on time. It was perfect. The comment just came in. Yes, I sir. do. There we go. See, <laughs> that's see, how you that's do it. it. That when is you like guess on your show. You just put them on the spot in the chat. <laughs> <You have no laughs> choice. <laughs> That is the most like 
shameless peer pressure way to get an interview, you know? <laughs> Dude, you know I'm a Star Wars fan, right? So that's the Jedi. I'm like, GG, we're doing this here stream. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Um, okay, actually, this is a good question, Sammy. I'm not really sure, actually. You know, I didn't go this far and take a look. I just kind of assumed everybody had the trailer already. But um, if anybody knows, I don't know, Doc, if, if you know. I will Google it real fast. This is a really good question. Yeah, we'll Google it and we'll let you know. But um, But yeah, that's great. Um, okay, awesome. Oh, okay, we got Rich here as well. Good to see everyone. Yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, we are really hanging out here with Doc Rock. It's just my excuse to hang out with Doc Rock. Talk shop. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, and we are just really talking about how to get more live stream viewers uh, for for your live stream. <laughs> so, um, so that's really it. And um, yeah, sharing some tips, some things that works. Um, you know, hopefully you guys get something out of this. Try one of these things. You don't have to try everything. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to overwhelm the crew here, but, um, try one thing that hopefully will, you know, move the needle, uh, for your live streams. All right. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll circle back on that question there. Um, unless doc found it already. No, I found, I found a video with the answer. And of course it's Nick. Yeah, of course, of course. So, so I'm checking it out. I'm checking it out. I was like, "Oh well, Nick, thanks for thanks for answering this question." <laughs> so I'm checking it out. Yeah, we'll but check it know, out. Check it out. Uh, hi, hi, Shelly. Yes, Shelly. Um, look, luckily, I got all of the water like before it came in, so my studio is safe. And I just went outside to take a peek, and it's still cloudy, so we're still in the you know watch, but it's not raining right now, which is plus because it's been solid three days. <laughs> There you go. It was there quite biblical. Yeah. <laughs> Noah's Ark style. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. Um, awesome. Yeah. Shelly, good to see you here. We need, looking forward to catching up, man. At Thousand some point. Some and point. No strikes. Okay. Thank you, Chantel. There we go. There we go. Found it. Found it. 100. Okay. Yeah. So to do the channel trailer that we were just talking about, 100,000 uh, subs, no strikes. Um, yeah, there you go. All right. So next tip, Doc, feel free to jump in if you, if you like, if you have something you want to share, f go for it. Ooh, How to get more live stream viewers. Rob's the real Rob started talking in my ear because <laughs> I accidentally clicked the other tab and I was like, whoa, stop talking in my ear, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one thing that's really cool is I, th I think again, so first thing you got to do, uh, and again, if you're taking notes, take these notes, because the first one is, is really first. You have to tell yourself you really want this to happen, because I think a lot of people self sabotage and just don't realize it, because self sabotage is one of those things that no one ever realizes they're doing. So you might be putting things in flow by like not telling anyone, not mm -hmm. doing the Insta post, not right. doing the channel trailer, not putting it in your newsletter, not even building a newsletter. Like right. there's a lot of things that you can do in order to be not promoting yourself. Right. So make a checklist of how you're going to promote it. So when you set your stream, anchor it, then go in and promote it. Right. You, right now, uh, Instagram stories is an amazing way. Hey, I got yeah. the stream coming up, so and so and so. Mm -hmm. You guys don't follow my channel yet. Because I know plenty of people that are sitting on like, you know, six, seven thousand Instagram followers and three people subscribed on a YouTube channel. Because mm -hmm. the Instagram people don't know. Okay. Now, yeah. some people say on Instagram, talk about Instagram because it's hard to make people make that jump. And maybe you don't have to go there and sell it on IG, but you can let the ambient awareness kick in. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I was doing this thing on my YouTube channel today. I just set up the stream for the weekend. I'm going to be talking about this, this, and this. And, yeah, you know, I was wondering about these questions. So I'm going to just spitball these questions. You guys tell me if you think these are good questions or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now you're being Instagrammy, right? but you ambiently dropped a YouTube. These are not the joys you're looking for, but you didn't turn it into like a come to my stream, come to my stream, come to my yeah, stream. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not overselling and you're just like, oh, by the way, you know, I'm going to answer these questions. I've been thinking about these things um, and, you know, somebody can relate to that, then they may, you know, because at some point they're going to go to YouTube and hopefully they see your scheduled stream, you know, and uh, and there you go. So uh, you just got in their head. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's really good. Uh, yeah, Linda Ray says she loves stories. This is great. Um, yes, Glixie. Do you have any tips for me? Um, sounds like, you know, somebody that's just starting out, 130 subs. It's great. I mean, 130 subs, hard to get 100 subs, you know, 50 subs. So n nice work. So, um, you know, I'm trying to get more, you know, 
more fast trying to get faster with live streams and what do i do so yeah so you know this is really the stream for you here uh we're trying to share some things that are that are sort of like basic things and sometimes we forget the fundamentals and also some uh, some advanced things here so um we talked about scheduling your stream again you can do that on ecamm directly um you can then also make sure that you're using your live stream trailers right that we just shared and then the next thing is promoting on uh, social media, which Doc talked about here. Um, Doc, what are some ways that you guys promote on social? Like what are some of, you know, Instagram stories we talked about? Um, are you guys using, um, you know, Facebook events, LinkedIn events? I know that Ecamm is pretty good with promotion. I tell you right now, the sleeper move, because we're in the business yeah, yeah, yeah. realm, is, is uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. And I have been horrible but after spending a weekend with Judy Fox in Albany and she's like, yo, dude, you need to be doing this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what? She's like, come on now. And I'm like, oh, man, I was trying to avoid it. But she's kind of right. It's quite amazing. So a couple of things here. Mm -hmm. um, first, yeah, you should be talking about things on the various channels, right? Right. But it's important, again, like I said a minute ago, you want to talk about it on the channel as it relates to the channel. LinkedIn wouldn't be a place for Glixie because as I'm looking at Glixie's channel, it seems to be uh, gaming, and specifically, it seems to be Fortnite. Okay, mm. so okay. cool thing. The first thing you need to know is you picked one of the hardest things, not impossible, mm. you picked one of the hardest things to be in. But if this is something that gamers don't know how to wrap their head around and i say this fully opinionated if you disagree with me cool um gamers just want to come on and play their game and think people are going to watch them mm -hmm. because they watch other gamers game mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but reality is the reason why you watch a pro gamer game is because you're trying to see if they do anything or have a strategy or a play or a maneuver, or they might say some secret sauce that's going to help you become the better gamer. Mm -hmm. So if your goal is to just turn on your camera, hey, watch me play this game, uh, good luck with that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, like not that many people want to watch you play, right. right? Now, if your goal is to help other gamers get to your level, right? And for instance, I don't have a gaming channel at all, but I can make a gaming channel tomorrow mm -hmm. and I could get that sucker people watching right away because I'm going to come in and be like, hey, any gamers out there over 50, you guys want to play Madden and learn how to play it? Good. Me too, because I don't know how to play this either. Let's start together. All right. Everybody steal your kid's controller. Let's go figure <laughs> this out. Okay. So, all right. Everybody go to the screen where we're going to build a player. Everybody build a player. All right. Check this out. I wonder what these are. Here, let me call a nephew on the other phone. Uncle, no. You got to, like, add the speed, but make sure it's balanced and all these other things. So, I would be learning how to – I can actually play Madden. I would be <laughs> learning how to play Madden with a bunch of other, you know, dads and uncles who don't know how to play Madden in order so that they can better connect with their kids. I am helping them out. I am not saying, hey, look at me. I'm Doc. I can play Madden. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you are helping somebody, mm -hmm. you, they will watch. That's it. That's if it. If it's about you, no reason to watch. Rob no is reason. helping. Rob is helping you guys right now. So what are you guys all here for? To listen to Rob help you. So figure <laughs> out how it's to for make... You. Even if you're enjoying the playing or whatever, how can you make it helpful to people? I guarantee you grow within two weeks. That's it. That's 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 literally the 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 thing that people miss. Yeah, I mean it's it it's could be gaming. Blueprint. It could be gaming. It could be entertainment. It could be tutorials. Like it could be vlogging. Like if you you have to find a way that it's about the viewer, or else they're not going to show up. Not initially. Yep. Yep. Now once they show up and they get to know you. They may show up for random streams, right? Like because they know you now. Like you know, like Doc. Like if you show up and you're just like hanging out, um, I'm gonna show up. You know, and um, yeah, but it's I because I know you for you because of that. Because like hey, it's Rob. I love Rob. Let me just show up to see Rob because <laughs> I in my brain, if Rob and I lived in the same town, we'd probably see each other two, three times a week. At least, at <laughs> least, just, yeah, at least, right? Hey, right, Rob, coffee time. Cool. Yeah. I'll meet you over there. Boom. Hey, Ace. Yeah, I'll yeah. Pick you up. <laughs> Right? Like it, I just know that because we've developed the relationship from the chat and then being on each other's streams and then, you know, talking to each other from time to time. Yeah, so exactly. you really, everyone in that chat over there, 
that comes from the ECAM fam, the Michelles, the, the Shelleys, the Sammys, yes, yes. GGs. Like I have conversations with these people on a regular basis. GG right. text me today, you know, just to double check to make sure I wasn't flooded out, <laughs> you know? So you do develop your tribe, so so to speak. That's right. And again, it comes from trying, if you help folks, I mean, if you just out there honestly being a giver and you're helping folks, it will work. It and will I work, thought yeah. about this a second ago. If you ever watch a thing where I'll pick like one of the most famous, let's pick Ariana, right? So if Ari is doing a, um, an interview mm -hmm. and she's doing an interview where the fans are there, mm -hmm. one of the fans will inevitably come and is like, Oh my God, you don't know how much you helped me. Like I was struggling with school and, you know, dealing with my parents and we had to move away and listening to your songs really helped me get over that. Or, you know, my, my ex did this, Y, Z, and listening to your songs helped me get over that. Listen to the artists when the fans attack them in, in, in Google, in, not Google, yeah, yeah. Gaga all over them. N right. Not, sorry, Stephanie, Lady Gaga. But <laughs> they always say, you helped me, right? Mm -hmm. Watch yeah. the Billy Idis documentary when the fans attack her. Billy, you helped me get through this thing. Right, so right. even something like listening to music, right? When I saw Kevin Smith live at Comic-Con explaining how he did a movie, all the wannabe filmmakers, every time you get up, hey, Kevin, I just want to say I'm in film school and watching your movies and understanding your process has really helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah, help. yeah. Help, help. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like people is like, you help me get through something. Oh man, like listening to your stuff help me get through this thing. And you never met them, right? Like these celebrities or like these these content creators, they never met these people at all, but like their content, they connected because again, it's about the 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 audience. It's about the viewer and what they're getting out of it, not what you're getting out of it. You're not just like, I want to be famous. I want to just go live stream and uh, people are just going to show up because they love me. You know, there's there's always, it's always about, it's, people are very self-centric. So you got to think about that. You got to think about that. Um Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, cool. And this is actually, you know, Shelly's here. So Shelly does where she, she'll play music and people just show up for Shelly, you know, because it's like, I love, I love those streams that Shelly does. You know does. how Shelly helped me when I first was deciding to get into the live streaming thing and I knew I wanted to do some of the coaching thing. Yeah. Shelly helped me in a way that I don't think I've ever expressed to her. But number one, she reminds me of one of my best friends. It's kind of like my little sister, no, that's awesome. um, Elise. And they have the same kind of temperament, mm -hmm. like caring and whatever, but like take no prisoners, take no mess from no one, right? Like very <laughs> blunt to the point, whatever. So in watching her stream and how just uh, to the point and and bottom line-ish, yep. she let me know that it'd be okay to be a stern YouTube coach, but as long as you're still caring and you have a point. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are like trying to be hyper inclusive mm -hmm, and i don't mm -hmm. mean from a, a block someone out thing yeah. i mean from like oh you can do this we got it no no some of y'all need to stop doing you because you know yeah. like, like oh you, you do you no if you've been doing you for 40 years and it's not working why would you keep doing you it's yeah, time yeah. for you to do something else exactly right? so she is in a sense like very caring and helpful and wants you to succeed but will tell you point blank if you need to hear the facts straight, if you need the bandaid ripped, she'll do it. And I was like, that let me know I have permission. I can do that too. Cause I'm like that. I don't want to yeah. candy coat something when the candy coating is it helpful to your next move. That's right. If the That's candy right. coating is helpful. Okay. I'm about it. But too mm -hmm. many people are like, Oh no, you know, it's all roses. No, it's not roses. This mess is hard, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this mess is hard. So I, I really appreciate it. I that. love it. I, I think I learned that from her. Me too. Me, I, me too. I am, I am, uh, the, I am, I have, that's, that is one of the things. Well, that is one of my weaknesses is I am very, it's very difficult for me to tell somebody that they're doing it wrong. And so that's what I learned from Shelly. It's just like, Shelly is so, Shelly does it. You're a teddy bear. That's yeah, right. I know, man. I know. I'm Canadian. So, you know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you know, I I learned the uh l like back in college I learned the uh you know, the sandwich, you know, you're like, okay, something nice and then something bad and then something nice, you know. Um I just That's did it all. Apple. Yeah, I just I, I just did all like all nice, 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 you know, the sa nice sandwich, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, Shelly does that really well. You know, she's very stern. And that's that's the kind of, you know, mentor or friend like, you know, um, that you need. Right. So 
um fantastic yeah it's really good you need a friend that will tell you you have lettuce in your teeth yeah you know, <laughs> a lot yeah. of people they don't want to hear that you know they thought it was yes. all good. no man that you was like yeah you gotta fix it you gotta fix it yeah yeah <laughs> i appreciate no, it for that. i love it yeah thank you shelly um paul says but i should i should i should i agree i should move to hawaii you know it's like longboard <laughs> a longboard over to doc's place and uh you know just go live and hang out um very good okay cool um okay so back to if you guys are just joining we're talking about live streaming how to get more live stream viewers you know we covered um obviously promotion on social we talked about scheduling your streams making sure you're doing that so you can't promote ahead of time um, and then also using the live stream trailer which on this is on YouTube um, and so which is very underutilized now the next thing is also inviting your your subscribers on email I don't see too many people doing this I know I don't know if you guys do this I have seen some creators that you know do this for me my suggestion is to um, to create the email ahead of time have a template I use mailer light for me some of you may be here because you got the email from me. Um, try to do that ahead of time so that you're not scrambling last minute. Do that ahead of time and then schedule the stream, schedule the email to go out about 15 or 10 minutes before you actually live stream because there's some time for the email to go out, for them to find it, to you know click on it and everything. And uh, you should be showing up to your live stream about 10, 15 minutes anyway. So if they show up early, you can start chatting with them um, in the live chat. So um, that that's one. I don't know if you guys do that, Doc, or you see anybody in the community. I'm, I'm super horrible about it. But what I'm learning that I think I, no, I think I, I know I need to do. I need to create a checklist. Checklist, because yes. Because as much as I hate checklists, but I spent years in the military and then working in a hospital, working at Apple, a very checklist oriented organization. Yes. And the idea of having a checklist where you go down, okay, I scheduled the stream. I sent this post to the to Facebook group. I sent this post to Twitter. I sent this post to IG. I sent the email out. You know, I double check with my guests to make sure that my guests had proper setup, you know, proper mm -hmm. mic, yep. you know, earphones, like all of the above. And then before you start, I, I have a checklist before I start. Yeah, yeah. You know, make sure the lights are good. Make sure the camera's in the right settings, all of the above. And I know like a lot of people are on a single camera for everything. When you can get a dedicated camera that you've never touched. Oh, game changer. So. <laughs> Put that in your in your mind. I will eventually get it, so I don't have to ever take this camera off of this stand. This yes. camera will stay here. It's on twenty four seven. I yep. never turn it off. <laughs> I just sit down and be like, "Hey, welcome to YouTube." <laughs> I love so that. It's game changer. Game yeah. changer. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just have it out, and then just one click. Um, I interviewed uh, Ruslan uh, recently, who is uh, is a he's a so great. Good great creator i think he yeah you guys are buddies too yeah he was saying you guys are yeah, already yeah, connected his wi-fi <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> yeah there you go yeah he and he's i mean in the interview he says he uses ecamm like you know so that's awesome um but yeah he he has it all and then he's got a switch and then he gets into his um his uh, home office studio one switch turns everything on lights camera two switches actually one for the camera and then one for the lights and everything else that's it. And then you're ready to rock. So um, you want to see something cool. You got to get with Keely one day and have her show you FH umpires down there. Yep. Uh, or as, or as, as Elise likes to call, I mean, uh, Alicia likes to call her um, F Humphreys. She has his rolling stand. Uh, his mm. name is Rick. Mm -hmm. Kidding. <laughs> and everything is on there. The camera, the computer, the Rodecaster Pro is on there. So everything. she can just roll Rick right in the front. Oh, that's and awesome. it's good because... It's the idea of having your permanently built studio, but, you know, in a smaller place, you can just roll it out the way and so you can do other things. But when you need it, you just grab Rick, roll them right in the spot and it's just ready to go. That's awesome. I think she took like the Caleb Pike idea yep. and made it her own, you know, special. Uh, it's probably red, <laughs> made her <laughs> own special like Canadian way, but it's, <laughs> it's a genius move. It is legit a genius move. And if, if you can find that, it will make your job easier. So you have more time to pay attention to the things like the promoting and the engaging and talking to your people. Yes, yes. Which is an, a tip on its own, uh, you know, to get more live stream viewers is that engagement, which, again, that's why you're here because you do this really well. Oh, you know. Oh, one important one, Rob, that Go I for think it. Go I, for it. I notice is missing from yours. 
Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah. There's a lot. screwed up already. You screwed up already. <laughs> okay. So I'll tell this to Rob and everybody follow this because I, I did it and trust me, it's a gorgeous thing. Yeah. The minute you have five to 10 people that show up to your streams all the time, pick someone. And I would do that. I did it at five. So I like that number. It works for me. Uh, pick a moderator. Mm. Yeah. Super yeah. important because of two things. One, it allows you to handle things. Two, when we got to go look for that link about like, um, hey, uh, Sammy said this is this thing, but what's the right number? Okay, your moderator can do that while you keep dealing with your guests. The other thing that does, though, is it just makes your stream look more because like everybody go to the big stream. There's like 80 moderators, right? And like Paul uh, Peck is moderated for about 70 channels. I think. Every, time, every time I <laughs> love see Paul, Paul man. He wrenched, yeah, he, he's wrenched up. You know, I love so, it. I love, he's um, wrenched up. Well, yeah. Wait, maybe, maybe he's a taper. I don't know, you know, get it, get it dry. Well, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, Never mind, Doc. But you have to get yourself a moderator as soon as possible. They mm -hmm. really can help you, number one. But mm -hmm. number two, it does add a little bit more validity to your stream. And then they help you foster that community. Right. And foster community is the money shot. Right. Having your community just vibe with you, money shot. The most endearing thing in the world to me was when I told the community, hey, guys, I'm going to go be speaking in New York. And then they're like, okay, I'm coming. I'm like, I what, really? That. I love that. Like, people, hey, Mr. Camera Junkie drove from Miami to Oof. Albany, New York. It's mm. not regular New York City, New York. <laughs> Albany is another two and a half hours on top of the first part, right? <laughs> and yep. Yep. he drove all the way up there to come and kick it with us that weekend. And so Dan was like, yo, like, did everybody from the community just come up in here? And I was like, yeah, kind of. Like, a whole bunch of folks came through. And it was fun. So we got to go, you know, hang out. Everybody got to meet Shelly. You know, they're like, yeah. oh, Shelly, hey, girl. Yeah. You know, and it was, it was just great, you know. And you can't do that if you don't have someone helping you formulate that. So one of my first moderators was uh, Rob Voss yeah. and Limwell. Yeah. Lim yeah, Limwell. Yes. And they, they, really, they really do help you out, so soon as you can get a moderator that's that is on the list you guys are in my facebook group uh i i put that out i'm like who would want to be moderated so yeah that's that's on my thing this week so yeah thanks doc good reminder um uh, fantastic yeah um yeah man people showed up for people of video i think they just came there they don't even know it was like people of video they thought it was like the doc show <laughs> honestly <laughs> yo we had so much fun and Gigi lives in that town so it was cool because she was nice. a great hostess she showed us all the cool things and yeah um yeah it was definitely it was, takeover yeah mm-hmm <laughs> yeah. it was so wonderful like we had a blast and if you ever get up there go to the standard and have that insane meatloaf that i bought <laughs> it was like nine layers of meatloaf and cheese and a dirty martini it was, it was oh that sounds great that sounds great right now it's like i haven't had dinner yet that sounds really really good um yeah no that's awesome yeah i mean people are video next next year dan courier you guys go check him out um yeah hopefully oh, we, okay. i will be there hopefully next year we'll see i know you screen was there um yeah. virtually but uh yeah next year next year uh they could have oh yeah because we use that to do our that's our right streams, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we ran the streams it was super great and yeah i I, yeah. I mean seriously and again not trying to be you know like fangirl over here like meeting shelly for real was awesome because he's exactly what i expected like no it was it was no like oh this way one way this way a different way no shelly was shelly and roger yeah. is roger Roger's, Roger's Roger. a big old teddy bear, bro. <laughs> like I love Roger. Except for he likes the Cowboys. I <laughs> oh, can't help it. He can't help it. He's right in the heart of the, you know Dallas. <laughs> um yeah, no, no wrench for me. We gotta I'll we gotta make that happen. I honestly I just haven't gone to it, but yes, yes. We'll make Dude, that just happen. right click on Shelly's name right now and then turn her into a wrench. Is that all you do? Oh it is. That's Add all moderator. You do. Oh man, man, I can't reach through here to Canada and just like, <laughs> be like this. There it is. There it is. Uh while we're here. There you go. Okay. There you go. Awesome. See. This is great. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Shelly has been wrenched. <laughs> you have been wrenched. That's a shirt right there. Um perfect. Okay. Next, um, by the way, we've got a couple more uh, things that we want to share, but, you know, we got Doc here. So if you guys are here, please, if you have any questions, anything, let's 
you know, unblock any hurdles, any challenges, any questions about live streaming, content creation, tech gear, anything. Uh, we got the, we got the man here for another uh, little bit. So um, drop your questions. Uh, put a cue in front of it just so I can, you know, tag it. I'm a one man show. No moder. Well, I got two moderators now, but um, <laughs> uh, but still put a cue in it uh, in front of the question so I can put it, uh, make sure I can see it later. Um, okay, the next thing, two more tips here I want to share, Doc, that we want to kind of chew on real quick. If you have a guest, make it easy for your guest. Now, I didn't do this with you, but make it easy for your guest. Usually, I, I would create like a quick little like Google Doc or Google folder. It would have the thumbnail in there. It would have a little document with like, you know, social copy that you can just copy and paste um, to share on with your audience uh, so that, you know, your guest can share your live stream if you have guests with their audience. Um, and then that'll drive their audience over to you. They're going to feel great because they're being showcased on another, um, you know, another channel. Um, and so make sure that you are making it easy for your guests to share um, that live stream. Anything you want to add to that, Doc? What do you guys do? You know who does this fantastically. I mean, I, a few people, but Eve. I want to say, oh, okay. Eve. Yes, Eve. <laughs> of course she does. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> of course she is like, yo. She sends you this Google Doc, gang, gang. Listen, it's like copy this, <laughs> steal this, ask to be a guest on her show so you can catch the blueprint, right? <laughs> I just did that because Rich is a Dallas Cowboys fan and they still reeling from Thanksgiving. Um, I got this I, after saying, hey, you want to be a guest on the show? I'm like, yeah. She's like, cool. Uh, go to this link and then just fill this thing out. So I have that part. I got the Calendly part down, right? So you go in and you put your name, whatever, whatever, ask you a couple of questions, ask you for your headshot, like the whole nine yards. Nice, nice. When you send that, you get an email back. And that email back is like the thumbnail, <laughs> the Instagram image, the Facebook or Twitter image, mm -hmm. and swipe file. What I mean by that is there's copy for you to pick up and paste into your social media. Oh, if you yeah, are sending that. it to your newsletter, like you don't have to think about what to write in the newsletter because she done wrote it for you. All you <laughs> do is take that and put it in and shoom, it's gone. And I was like, Evie, man, right. that is just boss. It is super boss. And What's funny is we did that for Leap into live streaming. Yep. We sent you guys all the social posts. All mm -hmm. you have to do is copy that CSV yep. over to your favorite social media aggregator and it scheduled posts for you. So all of the Leap speakers were tweeting every single day with different things. And it just so you got 20 speakers, you got 20 speakers tweeting five times a day with different things for two months on the run up. Bro, you got a lot of social push to get that's it. Leap. And that's I was it. like, I learned that from Evie. So, it's like, <laughs> bro, that was yeah. magic. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I mean, it can be template. It, you, you can just make a template. You do it once. You just duplicate the, you know, the Google folder or the Google Doc, whatever. Um, and then you just fill in the blanks. Right. I mean, that's that's how I see it. That's how we, you know, we did it. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, that's great. I would, of course, Evie does it, you know, she's like the productivity, you know, queen. So yeah, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, all right, questions, drop them in. Um, and I've got one more here to share and then we'll get into some questions. So, um, the one I want to share here last doc is optimize your live streams. Now we're talking about YouTube here guys. All right. So not Facebook. Hard to optimize Facebook for search or anything. You can't optimize Facebook. There's like literally no way to do it. So, um, Look, yes. Facebook can't optimize Facebook. Let's just get that covered. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, but on YouTube, which is what we're talking about today, YouTube live streams, make sure you're optimizing. It's easy because you can, it doesn't matter what you're scheduling. If you're not scheduling directly on YouTube, like if you do it on Ecamm, you still have to fill out the tags on YouTube. So you f you schedule yeah. it on Ecamm and then you go to YouTube and then you fill in the tags, you know, all that stuff. Title, the I, title. I just got schooled this week, Rob. No, no, but who? Majorly schooled by Diana, who else? No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's like, did you know, okay, that if you schedule your live stream in Ecamm, and you give it a you know high resolution thumbnail mm -hmm. it will actually give you a better thumbnail quality on youtube posts when you do it inside the youtube thing it over smashes the images oh okay I didn't know so that. you get a higher quality thumbnail when you do when you schedule it from inside it. i didn't know that i bet you ken and glenn don't even know that and they wrote the freaking program <laughs> this is a diet this is a diana gladney maneuver somehow that 
she figures these things out. And I was like, what the what? Because, okay, so check this out. Scroll down a little bit. And to get to the thumbnail part in the middle, not the two sides. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right now, here. Click right on here. that and pull the download. And then compare the size of the image. Okay, when you do that, when it's done straight on Ecamm, yeah. it, uh, that's bigger. When that's you bigger. do the ones that you did on YouTube Direct, it'll be a smaller image. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Me neither. I would even, like, Diana, even figure that out. But I guess. I mean, when she stands it. up, she's still under the table. So she got more. <laughs> I don't know. Don't she's mad at That's me for funny. the short jokes <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i wasn't expecting it to turn the corner and then see diana and she's like five two <laughs> i was like oh i thought you was taller <laughs> <laughs> what, what that supposed to mean doc Never mind, nothing. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, that's great. That's actually really good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, so if you, if you schedule on Ecamm, then you can already put all the thumbnail. The only thing that you can't, and you can't do this for very many like platforms anyway, unless you're going directly to YouTube, is adding the tags. Um, and so yeah. adding the tags. So you got to make sure you go in, go into your live stream, your scheduled live stream on uh, YouTube, and then add the tags in as you normally would for like a regular upload. That way it can be, you know, you can, it can help your scheduled live to be found before the live stream even happens. And you know, you know, you're going to get more potential viewers, potential subscribers um, as yep. well. Yeah. yeah if yeah. you have a set of tags that you use all the time, mm -hmm. you can store them in a Google doc, right? That's right. That's Another right. thing that folks don't think about, you can set it up as a keyboard replacement. Mm. Okay. So I use text expander mm -hmm. but even on my iphone i have if i'm in uh ig and i'm recommending a piece of equipment right yep. like i got these cool new purple mic cables and i love them their build quality is pretty dope and they can get any colors that you want yeah so if i was doing a post about those cables at the end of typing about the post i just go comma dtra hmm. dtra will automatically expand to hashtags doc tested doc recommended doc approved because they used to say that in medicine commercials back in the day so i stole that when i recommend a piece of gear if i was talking about the sm7b on even on my iphone i just do comma dtra and it goes Prat! and it and it writes all of that and i did that because i can't spell recommended <laughs> That's I always mess it up. I always <laughs> mess it up so you can do a text replacement. The funny thing is your text replacements that you set up on your phone actually carry back to your computer now that iCloud is so much more pervasive. Mm -hmm. So I have a expansion, comma, comma, YT, and it automatically fills out my YouTube thing with my TubeBuddy links and nice. my Ecamm links and my Amazon links and all of that stuff. Great, great, yeah, good, good, uh, good system there, good system. Uh, Glenessa says, Gigi says, uh, she uses a notes folder, so I can go over all my devices, and it's really easy to access. Yeah, it's a good way to, it's a good way to, good way to, um, perfect. And uh, there was another question. I'm gonna circle back to this because there's another question, and uh, our friend Rich uh, answered it earlier. Anybody wondering about the YouTube live stream trailer? Um, you need to have uh, at least 1,000 subs and zero strikes, okay? Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, the strike side, hopefully you're not getting strikes. Uh, you only get three, uh, but yeah, 1,000 subs, so. I wish, I wish YouTube would take away, and I understand why they do it, of course, but I want them to take away the subs thing. You can have yeah. an amazing channel with 500 subs yeah. if all 500 of those people were tied in yeah like like totally. like say the, how the lgl people are tied in mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a small group of really really tied in people is more powerful and more impactful than a channel with a million subs that they don't really talk to each other nobody really knows each other there's yeah. not a community That's i have true. completely seen channels with millions of subs and nobody in the chat talks to each other yeah yeah my people will big. talk to each other in the chat they'll talk to each other in real life they'll call each other up on the phone <laughs> they know how their kids and grandkids are doing yeah yeah like <laughs> and that's better but youtube the business side of it like and and that's the kind of stuff that causes like creator anxiety um you know like like to gixi who's a relatively new tuber right says oh i need to get more subs because you know just want to do this particular part of youtube and chasing subs is not the move. Creating community is the move. 
Oh, totally. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about community. Um, it, it's community is a word that gets thrown out, uh, thrown around a lot these days. I was actually listening. I mean, I was listening to this other podcast. I, I listened to a ton of podcasts, but there's a, this podcast about, um, you know, software world. There's like product led um, software, right? Like, oh, it's about the product like Ecamm. If Ecamm didn't do any marketing, um, all they did was build a community that would that would be enough to get whatever subscriber like users you need um, because it's the community now the community I mean I mean I wonder if ecam just turned off all of its marketing I think the community would carry it and bring more users like every single day you know it's just like community is so 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 important you know so it's super funny because I just you know I do this feature Friday thing where I talk about cool features inside of Ecamm Live every Friday. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. book. And one of the last <laughs> videos I made was here's a feature that I don't talk about enough to the to everybody else. But if ever I'm interviewed and someone says, "Hey, what's the best part of Ecamm?" I'm like, "Community." community. So I'm like, no, no. Yeah, I mean, well, what about the 4K streaming? You know that? Yeah, whatever. So what? It's community. So what? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, I use 4K streaming all the time, but our community is the bees knees Hall of Fame. That's it. That's it. If you guys are here, let us know what is the best part of Ecamm. This is turning into an Ecamm uh, stream now. So uh, <laughs> let us know what's the best part of Ecamm. Um, and you can say doc if that is the best part of Ecamm, in your opinion. Um, all right. There you go. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, chocolate Twist Yoga. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do your thing. Do your thing. Thanks for hanging out. Um, this is good. So yeah. Um, any questions? We got Doc for another few minutes here. If you guys have any questions, happy to take a couple questions. Um, and then we will we will call it a wrap. I see James Hicks here. What's up, James? Good to see you. <laughs> I like Alberta Landlord Community's comment. That is awesome. Uh, it's in my name. <laughs> no, there you go. Alberta Landlord. All right. Fellow Canadian, I think. I mean, that's, yeah, Not haven't been to the yeah. channel, but definitely right, we check it out. We don't have an Alberta down here, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did have an, I swear to you, I, had an, I have an anti-Alberta. She owned the hair really? salon. Really? Wow. Yeah, I grew up in the hair salon and my auntie Alberta's hair salon. So when I first heard about the Canada place, I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was a little kid. Like she was the one that always spoiled me and got me all the candy and stuff that my mom hated her for. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best kind of ants, man. Um, I've yeah. never met anybody named Alberta. That's crazy. That's uh, super very funny. cool. Very cool. Uh, yeah, James, the best part is the community at, at uh, Ecamm. The learning curve so easy. There you go. I mean, probably big big ups to Doc for sh sharing. Exact. There's a tutorial on pretty much everything, I, I imagine, uh, when it comes to Ecamm. Um, and I try. And if they're missing one, somebody tell me so I can get it done. I there try. you go. <laughs> I, try, I want the tutorials. You know why I want tutorials to be the way they are, Rob? Because I have gone to software that I really love. And I'm like, okay, okay, let me go grab this tutorial. And there's not a lot there. And I'm mm. like, oh. Ew. So, like, I love drafts. Drafts is amazing. And they fix it because David Sparky went and made a bunch of tutorials about it. But I couldn't find, like, any any stuff about drafts. And I'm like, bro, it's so good. So good. <laughs> Doc, it's pretty much either community or Doc coming up here. So love the community Ooh. and Doc. Uh, oh, Thank yeah, you. of course. Canadian. Awesome. I was in Alberta this summer, by the way. I was in Calgary and Edmonton. Went to Banff as well. But I'm in Vancouver. So um, Alberta landlord community. Uh, Doc and community from Shelly. Best part of Ecamm's community. Uh, One of my tell best words is from Okotoks, <laughs> which I believe is Alberta. There it is. Yes. Uh, Alberta has like some of the best hockey players. Side note. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it helps because they, they like, you know, six months of the year, there's like ice. The ponds are like ice. You know, what else do you do? Oh. Play, play hockey. Play, play hockey. Go skating. Yeah. No, it's and good. Eat bear claws. <laughs> beaver tails. Beaver tails. That's exactly. Beaver tails. Um, uh, okay. Oh, Paul Chow. This is interesting. So Paul Chow's hardcore PC, but he got everything set up for it for Ecamm, Mac only. Yeah, well, you know, Paul, we can solve the problem. We actually have people who are straight up PC users that have bought dedicated minis just to use Ecamm for yeah, streaming, yeah. which I, isn't a I bad look because you should you should almost have it. Um, most people hate me when I say this, but you should almost have a dedicated machine for streaming anyway because mm. it's just so much easier instead of fighting everything. And you can pick up a mini for five sixty now, five sixty nine at Costco for an yeah. eight gig mini. Mm -hmm. Now, AK M1 Mini will run circles around just about anything. Um, but I guess if you're a PC gamer streamer, you need a PC for that. We don't PC really gamer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, for, for, for Mac, that's, that's pretty good. Um, 
Okay, let's see. A uh, couple, couple more comments and questions here. Love the Facebook page community, although I do keep quiet as I'm not on a Mac. But see, that's still interesting that you still are part, Chantel, you're still part of that community. Um, you, yeah, I clearly think that you're getting... is dope. I think that's dope because like you just, I'm sorry, you're just no, no, go to ahead. Say go, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Because you're still getting good streaming information. Still getting value. And yeah. learning how to do shows and getting ideas because that part doesn't change the graphics and the, mm -hmm. the what we're talking mm -hmm. about today it's irrelevant right it's more about the streaming side of it so i think exactly. that's awesome exactly and you're going to meet totally. people there you can collaborate with i mean yeah i mean it goes beyond the platform right um and and i mean maybe not chantel but like somebody like chantel when they decide if they decide it's only a matter of time they go mac you know then guess what platform they'll use to stream most likely right it'll be ecamm um so yeah so there's a question here from our friend alberta alberta landlord community would love to know what your name is unless you want you know, we can just refer to you as alberta landlord community um question about uh community flat platforms <laughs> so uh i haven't used mighty networks yet um i mean it's been around for quite some time i have used uh circle slack um you know all the different you know vanilla forums um have you used mighty networks doc or have experienced Yes, as a user. I'm, in, I'm in Tom and Heather's Mighty Network group, and it's pretty cool. Like, they've done some amazing stuff. And one thing I like about them, they have that same young startup scrappy mm -hmm. type DNA. And so I immediately fall in love with the creators because that's Ken and Glenn. They're just like that, too. Yeah. So I think that's cool because if you if, if the users need need something or they're missing something yep. they do it right away like they oh, let me try this out and they'll try it and say okay guys we're going to roll out this in a couple of days and i'm like i love that yeah you don't really get to see that now with really big like overarching stuff discord was kind of like that mm -hmm. they got to peel back a little bit but Discord's <laughs> probably the best right now if i had to start all over discord, i yeah. probably would stay there the only disadvantage to discord if mm -hmm. you have a bunch of users like me that are like you know of a certain vintage um <laughs> discord can be daunting but because i'm a gamer it never affected me i'm also a nerd so it never affected me i flew into it really easy uh no keely uh fh umpires in the chat she's built an incredible discord community too but i discord because it has the whole gamer graphics and gamer vibe and this little cherubic it is harder to get sort of the pro level people to take it seriously but discord's amazing yeah, pro like you mean like like sort of the more businessy I mean, corporate professional business. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it's making a move though. Like it is, it is sort of becoming more mainstream. It used to be basically just gamers and like, oh, what is Discord? I'm not a gamer, but yeah, I'm seeing a lot of like corporate or company and business centric sort of um, communities being built on Discord. I mean, they're they're going pretty yep. big anyway. They got a lot of funding. Um, yeah, so yeah, Discord is good. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Chantel oh, is building. Cool building a second setup with a Mac. So there we go. Perfect. Um, see if there's any other questions here. Uh, okay. Guys, get Mackenzie. There you go, Mackenzie. Calgarian, Calgary. There you go. Where is... Uh, Mackenzie is naturally a Mac. Get it? <laughs> there you go. Already in your name. Uh, that's good. That's with great. With the community. <laughs> exactly. Like, this is the Mac community. Get it? <laughs> exactly great content thank you mantis lou good to see you here awesome um yeah so sammy's just saying same thing tom and uh tom and heather uh have theirs on mighty networks so this is good you know so here's the funny thing like everyone is very easy to create communities in facebook mm -hmm. at the end of the day facebook is extremely horrible for building community everyone knows how to use it though so that makes it easy but like i'm in a massive circle group like mm -hmm. massive circles mm -hmm. dope circle is a dope it's still missing some things we would have converted everything over to circle if they had live streaming but they don't mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um but circle is amazing mighty networks will probably beat them in like a year or so just because they're they're more fast on the development cycle mm -hmm. circle is built to be sold so they're on the let me make this popular so the VCs can buy us for a bunch of money and then we can go surfing. <laughs> hey, I do not knock the hustle. I, I spend a lot of time in the startup community, but I, I can tell when an app is built to get sold yep. and when the app developers are serious about growing something amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's clearly a difference for sure. Yeah, yeah. When yep. you're like, the, the goal is different. Yeah, for sure. Um, like Ecamm, 
I'm sure Ecamm has a price tag, but... Uh, <laughs> Can and Glenn swear there's not. There's not. There's not. Uh, uh, and I respect yeah. that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, bro, that 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 would be hard, right? But when you're a developer and you know that's your thing, it's good. Trust me, when somebody comes up and is like, okay, so we're thinking about like uh, I don't know, six hundred million dollars. I might have a hard time being like, you're, nope. You're gonna talk. You're gonna think twice about it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But they, they, according to them, and they don't have any reason to lie, and they're very particular about what goes on and making sure that they're more about the users than about the product. So they don't mm. want to get sold. They have yeah. been approached. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm they sure. Tell us. I'm course, sure. Hundred percent. And, and they're still there developing on on the beach in Salisbury, Massachusetts. That's right. Yeah, and the tropical island. Uh, no, man, I stuck my feet in that water, and I was like, "What the heck is this?" Uh, I'm used to like sixty degrees, seventy degree water. That joint was ice cold. I this was is like, not no. Waikiki, right? It's not Ala Moana. <laughs> no, it's not. Not. It's very different. Um, okay, Paul, our, our friend Paul Chow is. Uh, he's from my town. That's why he's referring to Canadian uh, currency here. Um, does it work with Stream Deck, Camlink? Yes, right? Yes. All day. That's how I yeah. do it. Yeah. Stream exactly. Deck is right here. Cam links are like three of them. Yep. It's connected to the machine now. Half the time it's four of them. Yeah, it's flawless. There you um, go. There you so go. I did want to mention something. So that number yes. I got was from Costco has a sale on them right now. I know you guys have a Costco, so just yeah, yeah, check yeah. Costco right now. Yeah. Costco is getting is, is like amazing, crazy sale on minis right now. So somebody yeah. just sent it to me. It was like five sixty nine. I was like, that's just silly done yeah uh paul yeah check that out maybe it's um you know if you're going directly to apple that might be the price but it might be a better deal at costco i haven't looked but um you know trust doc on it um, but that's a good sign that they're going to make a new one because apple yeah. don't put stuff on sale so if they end up at costco that means costco get rid of these so that we can you know make a new Ma one. make room on the shelf yeah exactly exactly <laughs> um sounds like uh miss shelly is going to be relaunching her channel memberships very exciting very exciting i like that very exciting i love it's good that. i love i'm all for uh monetization for creators so that's awesome um yeah let us know uh shelly when when that goes live or i don't know if you already did maybe um but yeah that's awesome um mantis lou <laughs> is streaming or uploading pre-recorded content good with discord I mean, you I can, don't know uh, about I don't know about the streaming, but I think pre-recorded content. Just put it on your YouTube channel and then share the links in the community. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You can stream. I mean, I remember like with the TubeBuddy Discord, you could do like not really a st you could stream. You could stream. I, I, it's limited depending on your 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 plan and all that stuff. But you could stream. It's a little. It's not you know, it's not super smooth yet. But um, but I haven't done it. I've just been a part of it. You know, as a as a viewer. Um, okay, Sammy answering our friend over here, Paul. So yes, you can do everything with the Mac M1 Mini. Um, very good. Let me see if there's any other questions. Doc, here's a question that's gear related. Uh, do you prefer multiple cam links or an ATEM Mini? Oh, I'd like to cause fights with this one. Here we go. If you're if you're using eCam, multiple cam links will run circles around an ATEM Mini. Um, because what happens with an ATEM Mini is you only have one camera to okay. ecamm and we do things with camera overlays and some of the other stuff that it will only ever see one camera so you can't really use the camera overlays and so right. yeah i prefer to just go cam links i think eight eight ten minutes have this point if you have a weaker machine or you wanted to do the streaming or whatever but yeah um do you see mckenzie's question in there I it do. is about the mighty network thing it's just create more.com let's put that on the screen so create more.com just create more just create more.com there it is oh. oh you started to spell wifey's name didn't you <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, i can't find it for some reason create more.com no try just type just create more with the spaces in between and see what you get <laughs> there, you go. there it is found it Okay, so I'll put that in the chat here for uh, Mackenzie. And yeah, go check them out. These guys are awesome. Um, very cool. Okay, let me see if there's any other questions that's 
better suited for dock here. Uh, yes, and so that's kind of the case because what happens when you use a mini, uh -huh. a mini will only see it as a single camera. So even if you use an OBS StreamYard, Restream, whatever, they, well, actually, in the cases of like StreamYard and Restream, it probably comes in handy because they don't, they don't have multiple camera yet. Well, actually, I think StreamYard started, but Restream does not. Um, but yeah, once those guys move to multiple camera, then the mini is going to be actually in the way instead of a helpful. Right, right, right. There we go. Um, all right, cool. Awesome. Doc, I want to respect your time. We're over an hour and uh, I know you're wrapping up your day. Um, I can smell dinner. It looks, smells really good. So I'm going to run. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's for dinner? Dude, man. Oh, you're going to laugh. This is the most Filipino dinner. It's adobo, man. Come on. Uh, Dude, so come on. That's one of my favorites, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got, Dude, we got some adobo. The best thing I ever learned is a little shoyu, a little vinegar, and a little lemon. That's and I was it. Like, no way That's this it. is going to taste good. But you That's get it. that, or you get some good porky santis. Fam, I'm at your house. I'm like, Come on. Man. I live you're in Hawaii, welcome. dude. I, like, you're welcome. I, just, I had tons of Filipino places to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got access. You got access to some adobo over there. Yo, you got access to adobo there. The secret is the bay leaf. Nobody, nobody's what? doing it. The bay leaf. That's a secret. Um, bay but anyways, leaf is the and the vinegar. <laughs> the vinegar. The vinegar is good. Um, all right, cool. All right. Well, Doc, where? I mean, of of course, any any anywhere ecam is. Uh, that's where Doc. You can find Doc. Um, anything exciting? What What are you guys up to for? Uh, oh, you you guys just had your um, uh, Black Friday and everything. But um, yes. you guys have Vlogmas have going down right now. Yeah, we're doing Vlogmas right now, which is fun just absolutely fun we have a cool holiday party coming up on christmas eve eve nice. um if you going to use a platform called ultra live to mess around with it okay uh oh we're talking about filipino yes you know, marie, marie. <laughs> i think and so um and then yeah just just we wanted everybody to have a running start into the new year so mm. the concept in the vlogmas and things like that was you're already practicing creating a lot so all your muscles are worked out so that when you go in january you can just bang at it just go to town so oh, that's, that's awesome it. that's awesome there you go so uh where's the best place to catch the vlogmas content in the group right the facebook group yes it's in the, it's in the group okay sounds good so uh if you guys look it up on facebook ecam network um join the group you'll see doc there doc goes live pretty much every day i want to say pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so days a week <laughs> yeah yeah doc is very generous with his time so make sure if you have any question make sure you connect with them but yeah fantastic doc thanks for hanging out with me hope you guys learned yeah. something apply it let us know how it went and uh we'll see you on thursday in a couple days uh, we'll be back live again aloha there you go <laughs> thanks everyone <laughs>